which is 56. Let's read the question, students. Select an incorrect statement. Students, in this question, we are given with four statements and we have to identify that which among these is an incorrect statement. So let's start with the first statement. Lanthanoids belong to the F block of the periodic table. Students, this is a correct statement as F block has two periods. One is lanthanoid and one is actinoid. Let's go to the next statement. Lanthanoid contraction is related to gradual decrease in atomic size of the element. Students, this is again a correct statement. Let's move to the next statement. Lanthanoids react easily with water to give LN3 plus ion. Students, this is again a correct statement. Let's go to the last statement, students. Lanthanoids form hydroxides which are more basic than alkali metal hydroxides. Students, this is an incorrect statement as it is very clear that the hydroxides of lanthanoids are less basic then the alkali metal hydroxides. So that means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Let's go to the next question students which is question number 57. Let's read the question students. Maximum number of coordination sites in EDTA is the given options are 3, 4, 5 or 6. Students, let's discuss about EDTA. EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetate ion. So students, now let us draw the structure of EDTA which is N, CH2, CH2, N, CH2, COO negative, CH2, COO negative, CH2, COO negative, CH2, COO negative. Students, we can clearly see that EDTA has two nitrogen atoms and four oxygen atoms which can donate their lone pairs to the central metal atom or ion. So the maximum number of coordination sites in EDTA is 6. Therefore the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question class which is question number 58. Let's read the question students. Effective atomic number of chromium with atomic number 24 in CrH2O whole 6 Cl3 is the given options are 35, 33, 36 or 34. So class in this question we have to calculate the effective atomic number of chromium in the given coordination identity. So let's write the formula of EAN effective atomic number which is atomic number Z minus oxidation state plus 2 multiplied by coordination number. See class, in this question we are already given with the atomic number of chromium which is 24 minus oxidation state which is plus 3 plus 2 multiplied by coordination number which is 6 which gives a value of 33. So class, the effective atomic number of chromium in CrH2O whole 6 Cl3 is 33. So the correct answer is option number 2. Let's move to the next question students which is 59. Let's read the question. Primary valency of nickel in the complex NiCO whole 4 is the given options are 0, 4, 2 or 3. Students first of all we need to analyze the primary valency of nickel in a complex. So let's discuss. Primary valency is equal to the number of oxidation state of the metal atom or ion in the given complex. So class in this case we need to identify the oxidation state of nickel and that will be equal to its primary valency. Let's find out the oxidation state of nickel in the complex. So class in this case the ligand is carbonyl. 
which is a molecule so we can clearly say that the oxidation state of nickel will be zero so the primary valency of nickel will also be zero so the correct answer is option number 1 let's go to the next question students question number 60 let's read the question the crystal field splitting energy delta for octahedral and tetrahedral complexes is related as the given options are delta o is equal to 2 into delta t delta o is equal to 3 upon 4 into delta t delta o is equal to 9 upon 4 into delta t delta t is equal to 9 upon 4 delta o students first of all this is very clear that the crystal field splitting energy for octahedral complex is more than that of tetrahedral complex because in case of octahedral complex there are six ligands that is approaching towards the central metal atom or ion on the other hand in case of tetrahedral complexes only four ligand approach towards the central metal atom or the ion so it is very clear that splitting energy for octahedral complexes is more than that of tetrahedral complexes so i'm writing the correct relation which is delta o is equals to 9 upon 4 delta t so class this is very clear that correct answer for this question is option number 3 let's go to the next question students mm -hmm.